Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing the tarot card reading now. It's going to be focused on your love life. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell. And if you want a personal reading, you can get it at the TarotEmpress.com. Okay, so Aries, there's a situation that's playing out in your love life and I feel like someone is looking at you very closely and thinking about you very deeply, okay? Now these two tarot cards, you can draw many inferences from them, but I want to clarify before I do. I'm seeing a relationship that ended, but it's not completely over in terms of the situation, right? There's definitely a sign here that someone is watching you very closely, someone is obsessed. It could be a love connection that is being experienced uh, by this individual towards you. They could uh, potentially still have some very strong feelings here, right? But this is in a challenges position. So it is telling me that in order to be together, there's certain obstacles that are preventing it from happening. And it's not easy for this individual to you know, defeat these obstacles, go past these challenges. It's something that is standing in the way of the two of you coming together. So this individual is obsessing to a great degree, and we can see that with these two cards, right? Again, I'm getting the impression that things are falling apart for this individual in a way in which they didn't really expect. It feels like there's mass chaos inside of their world. It could be on an internal or external level, but uh, they're definitely starting to feel the aftermath of this uh, situation, this breakup or whatever happened between the two of you. And this is at the root of the issue. It's the way that things change. They change so unexpectedly for this individual that they don't have a chance to catch their breath. It feels as if you change the game every time they get comfortable or they feel like, you know, they have you figured out, things change. And so they have to start from scratch again. They have to go back to the drawing board. I feel like as an individual, as someone that is um, as complicated as the Aries is, right? It's never easy for people to figure you out. And that's what makes um, you belong to the first zodiac sign of all the zodiacs, right? Aries, god of war. Very strategic. People don't often think about it. But I also feel like you have this ever-changing nature that occurs within your own personality that makes you look at the world differently every time you gain a new piece of uh, information, knowledge. Whatever you're doing, you're always learning, you're always expanding. So that affects your relationship as a whole, right? Because just when this individual thinks they understand you, they know you, you become a different person. And it's like, you know, the process of shedding, you get rid of the old, 
you embrace the new. So I feel like they don't ever have a chance to catch their breath. They don't ever have a chance to figure you out because these changes come so unexpectedly and so rapidly. But they've always been obsessed. They've always been, you know, lusting after you, thinking about you, you know. This particular card is about temptation, desire, lust, that, those type of energies, always uh, wanting to be with you, right? That has always been there. But I see that this individual is trying to slow down, right? Yeah, the energies are showing to me that um, a lot of things right now in your love life have come to a standstill. And we also see this energy of someone fighting their emotions, fighting their feelings, fighting things that are occurring in the situation because they don't know how to deal with it. So I do feel like many of you, you know, the individual you're dealing with, they've sort of pulled back a little, but because, you know, they don't have a proper game plan, they don't know what to do in respect of the situation. It could be that they've ran out of ideas or they're just feeling like they need to catch their breath. But even if they need space from you during this period of time, I feel like they're not resting. They're overthinking and they're trying to calm themselves down, but it's not helping, right? So let's look at this card on the overall theme position. that there was an ending that happened here and someone became very cold very distant became very indifferent towards the situation it's you know signifying that things change so unexpectedly and so this individual was caught in a tailspin i feel like with this particular card they didn't really um you know have much leg room to move in the situation it feels as if they got shot down and they got limited by, uh, you know, the type of choices, options, and paths they could have chosen in this situation. So things got rapidly diminished in this relationship. And, you know, this individual feels as if they don't know what to do. It could have been you that became cold and distant and not wanting to deal with them because I'm picking up that your personality has changed, you know. So let's see. I feel like they have... A desire to communicate with you but then again having this fresh start having a new opportunity of a relationship is very very difficult like it uh, is something that is not easily achieved at this point of time from the past i see that um this person has been upset about the situation for some time. There's a lot of confusion that's going on in their world right now, right? There's a lot of things that they feel incredibly stressed out about. It feels as if they want to be there, a part of your life. They want to uh, accompany you on your journey. But it also feels like one individual is pushing the other person away. Perhaps, uh, you know, you've reached a point in which you need to collect your thoughts. You need to figure out who you are during this period of time. But I see that this person that you're dealing with is in an incredible amount of confusion, denial, not able to deal with what has happened. And there's also a lot of turmoil that they're experiencing because of the stress they feel. I feel like this individual feels as if they've let you down, they've disappointed you. And this might have been an accumulation of actions that they've done through the course of the relationship. It might have been a buildup of this energy in which they were constantly being a disappointment in your world. And there's, sense, there's a sense of, um, you know, remorse over their actions. There's definitely those particular cards and energies that are coming up for this individual concerned. So what I'm sensing is that this person you're dealing with there's a lot of stagnation in the air. There's a lot of things that have come to a standstill. Even though they want to communicate, they are holding back from doing so because they're still trying to figure out what they would say, right? Or what they would do in this respective situation. 
So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these cards on an extended reading. You can find the link in the description box below. I'm going to be looking at what exactly this individual is feeling, why they're holding back from communicating. I'm going to be looking at where this regret and sadness is coming from. And what would they say to you if they had an opportunity to communicate? What should you do to get these things moving around in terms of the relationship instead of just, you know, laying around like a stagnant sort of situation where nothing is getting accomplished, right? So you can find the link in the description box below. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the Tarot Empress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.